is one of the ETFs that pay a very consistent dividend or distribution. Look at that. You know, they literally started on December 6th. And then since then, they've been paying over a dollar. This is a pretty good. I like to see this because this is very easy to predict how much you're exactly going to get rather than other ETFs. They usually pay, you know, one dollar next time is 86 cents. So this, you know exactly what you're getting. It's almost a dollar and over. Right. So this is good. I'm going to cover about this ETF today and I'm going to show you how much you should invest to generate that monthly income. Thirteen thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, right? Uh, by the way, I give a credit to one of the uh, subscribers who mentioned about this. Hey, can you uh, cover IWMY ETF? And I said, yeah, actually, I'm going to take a look at it. And then I checked it. I was like, oh, it's pretty good. I liked it. I mean, I knew about this ETF, but I just wasn't thinking about covering it. So when these subscribers, you know, uh, shout out to him or her when they mention this i say i'll definitely do it and so this what i want to say is that if you are a subscriber and you know an atf that i you know or you haven't heard me cover in on this channel please just uh, leave a comment and let me know what etf it is and i'll try my best to cover that etf so now this is a Russell 2000 Enhanced Option Income ETF. We look at the distribution right now is 102.97. On my model, actually, is even more than that. Um, and then, of course, uh, it does pay monthly distribution. And SEC yield right now is 4.36. So what this ETF is, the put right ETF on the Russell 2000 using daily option to seek enhanced yield for investors paid monthly. So you might want you might ask, what's a Russell 2000? I mean, for people who don't know what Russell is, Russell 2000 is pretty much a 2000 companies. It tracks, this is an index that tracks the mid and small cap U.S. stocks. So it's a purely domestic U.S. companies, you know. Uh, so rather than, let's say, for example, S&P 500, which is only, uh, the only 500 companies, or the NASDAQ 100, which is only 100 tech companies. This is the broadest, one of the broadest uh, ETFs, right? So it's a pretty good because it covers the smaller companies and the mid companies. Now, um, we look at the description of this ETF, IWMY. It's just a name. I don't like the name, to be honest with you, man. Uh, IWMY aims to achieve consistent monthly yield distribution for investors coupled with market exposure to the RASO 2000. This ETF is an actively managed exchange trade fund that seeks to enhance income okay, constructed of uh, treasuries and RASO 2000 index options, right? The strategy, so it does write option on the, um, not those 2000 stocks, but the RASO index itself. So it's a pretty cool, they don't, have to deal with all 2000 companies rather just the you know the Russell itself right you know the strategy objective is to generate monthly distribution by selling option premium on a daily basis the fund use daily option to realize rapid time decay by selling uh in the money puts so investment objective of this is to first you know any other any of these etfs their their main objective is to seek income of course and the fund secondary objective is to uh, seek exposure to the performance of Russell 2000 index. Okay, uh, this is very important things here, subject to a limit on potential investment gains because whenever this Russell goes way high, of course, uh, because you get a put option, you're gonna be called. Those they have to sell it, so they you are now going to perform exactly like Russell 2000. Um, and then in turn, of course, you're gonna get the distribution. So you're not gonna get the best performance. Uh, is Russell 2000 so on upside you're always gonna lose uh, as compared to the performance of Russell but on the downside this ETF try to uh, sh shield you a little bit right it doesn't go down as much as Russell 2000 okay there's very important notes here guys I read last time I think there's no guarantee that the funds investment strategy will be properly implemented and investor may lose some or all of his investment this is disclaimer disclosure. I mean, most likely uh, you are not going to lose all your money, but you know, it, this is just a, you know, it's just a, it's just a something that they have to put on there. Now, uh, if we look at the fund details, asset right now is one sixty four million, so it's a pretty good size for these type of funds. And inception date was on October thirtieth, twenty twenty three. 
and that's the ticker symbol right there iwmy and it trade on new york stock exchange the nav right now is 15.59 and the price is 15.61 as of today uh, and then we look at the management expense ratio how much you're paying for you to invest in this etf is 0.99 um we look at the performance right now if you look at uh since inception has returned about 915 uh, or 958 uh, this is the market price a total return of nav and total return so about 10 percent if you look at this one is uh, if you round up uh, the market price of this has returned about 10 percent um we can go to this chart here we can see better so the 52 week range has is 1470 to 23 at one point it was over all, all the way to 23 or 9 um we look at the volume it's over almost close to 200,000 that's a, actually you look at the average volume over 300,000 it's a huge volume there um and then this is a max if we look at one year it's it was all the way from 1974 the way to 15 right now so if you look at the chart it, chart it, of course it seems to be going down and it did go down of course uh, so if it's right now is fifteen sixty one and the dividend they pay so far is almost eight dollars. So if you add the eight dollars to this one to the price of this one should be about twenty three twenty twenty three something, right? So overall with the dividend of course you're up, but if you do look at just a price, you are down. So if you were to invest all the dividends back your performance will be higher but let's say for example you didn't invest and of course you're getting more yield right but if you didn't invest you take the money and use all the cash then you're gonna be down uh, but of course you're still gonna get the same distribution now let's go back to top holdings right top holdings uh, you can see they only have six holdings and these holdings they don't hold stocks or anything like that they do have united states treasury notes united Tre treasury bill so it's pretty much they hold bonds and they use bonds as collateral and of course they have some cash very little it's about one percent only you know just in case and then of course uh they write most of it is on the leverage on the russell 2000. now we look at the distribution history i showed you there you can see there they've been paying uh the first distribution was in december 6th 2023 because remember this fund came out almost end of um october so after one month they always it has to pass one month before they can generate those incomes or profit for them to pay and you can see here they've been paying consistently as i've said you know that's a pretty good the last one was the highest actually it's like 141 so this is pretty good that they stay with consistency of the payment so that's that's it for this fund now let's go to spreadsheet see how much you going to invest to generate thirteen thousand a month by the way if you stick around because i'm going also to show someone commented said um he said well you put a lot of money you put one hundred thousand not all of us have one hundred thousand have an example of less than ten thousand so also you'll see how much if you invest only uh ten thousand how much you're gonna generate now if we look at that's the ticket symbol of course uh, price right now is 1561 um current distribution currently the last that they paid this month of may was one dollar and 41 cents and that equates to 108 yield if we go on average of course the average meaning combine all together on average is 119 if you do 119 your yield is 91 percent that's still a lot now if you invest 100,000, of course you're gonna get 6406 shares and that will give you 9033 and your income is 108 now if you go 150 you're gonna get 9609 shares those shares with that yield they're gonna give you 13,549 a month that's big money you know that's a lot of money right now so if you have 115 million you can retire right now you know you're gonna get 162 annually if we're gonna average just average if they pay this this is very consistent guys like this is really really good if they keep paying that you know 
just on average let's say for example you pay 106 107 whatever it is you know like you know this this little even if they change cents here between 25 to 41 you're still gonna get over um your minimum will be about seven thousand for one hundred thousand and then if you put 150 your minimum will be eleven thousand so even if it changes a little bit you you get between ten thousand to uh thirteen thousand so that's pretty good and annual income of course on average if you do average uh, uh distribution you're gonna get 137 it's a lot of money so you might say well i don't have a hundred thousand i might i don't have 150 you know um what if you only have ten thousand now i give you an example guys so here if you only have ten thousand dollar because think about this the person who has one hundred thousand they didn't get that one hundred thousand just like that right they started somewhere and if you want to start it somewhere of course you're going to start with like one thousand one hundred then you're going to get to that ten thousand you know that's my journey i started with ten thousand and of course i build my preferred one hundred thousand you know this is that's how it, it starts like that right now you have ten thousand you're gonna get 762 whether you reinvest that money of course your money will grow or whether you're gonna use that money to invest in something else but overall your portfolio is going to grow right now fifteen thousand if you put fifteen thousand on average i think that's just average okay if we go to the current with the current distribution of one dollar and 41 cents of course ten thousand will give you nine or three and then fifteen thousand will give you one thousand three fifty five that's still a lot of money if you just get that money and then you invest in something else you know if you s p 500 or another uh, yield um a higher yield etf that will generate another income so that one will compound plus the money you know receive from there your portfolio will grow that's how you grow your portfolio guys i mean then of course even if you go on average in fifteen thousand you're still gonna get one thousand 1143 but if you put only ten thousand you're gonna get over seven hundred to nine nine hundred that's a good money from only ten thousand right because percentage of that is almost ten percent or ninety percent so look at this you're gonna get nine thousand annually or you're gonna get about ten thousand so ten thousand of ten thousand that's a hundred percent on just one year so that's how you can generate a lot of money if you have a hundred thousand or if you don't have a hundred thousand you can also generate a lot of money just by investing ten thousand dollar so if you like this content just give me a like and don't make don't forget to subscribe so we can get this type of content thank you very much for watching catch you next one bye bye